How's it going guys? It's been a while since I made a video and I figured why not? So right now it's the whole coronavirus thing going on and I'm bored stuck at home going in between here and my girlfriend Lily's house. Since I'm here and have nothing to do, I decided that I'm gonna buy a whole bunch of canvases. So I bought six 14 by 14 blank canvases. And then I posted on my Instagram for 25 bucks, I'll paint whatever you guys want. So far I have three people that hit me up in the past two days wanting up some paintings done. So right now I'm working on this one. This is the first one I got commissioned. Some dude from Texas ordered this one and uh, he sent me a doodle of it and then I kind of revamped the doodle and I put it on the canvas and now I'm gonna start painting it. And then I got two more already prepared that I have to get ready to do. So I'm putting two blank canvases aside for them. But I'm gonna take you guys on the journey of me making these canvases while I'm sitting here bull. So right now I'm painting a UFO for this dude, Michael in Texas. I'm honestly real pumped to be painting this one because it's my first ever commission piece. So this one, I, it's the first one I'm ever gonna be sending out to another state as well. So I'm honestly just pumped to be doing it. And in this video, you're gonna be seeing me do three different custom commissioned canvases. They're all 14 by 14. I use acrylic paint for each one. I just use some cheap brushes from Walmart and I just have fun with it. So for this one, Mike told me to just kind of run with my own imagination on it, but he did send me a sketch that I kind of redid and made it my own and added my own colorway to it. And I really just had fun doing this one. Thanks for having me do it, Mike. So I knocked out the main painting portion of the first painting I'm working on here. And now it's a crucial step that I like to do. So I do the main painting and then I'll take some regular painters, scotch tape or whatever you have. And you're gonna wanna rip out a bunch of pieces and you're gonna cover the painting as best as you can. So this is also the most tedious part of the whole creation process that I do but it's also the most important because when I'm doing this, I'm gonna be creating a perfect background for the painting, but by this it protects the painting and it's gonna make a lot more sense once you see what I do next, so I'll show you. And there's the end product of the taped spaceship. So now I'm gonna go down to my garage, get some spray paint, and knock out a background real fast. And then we'll basically be done with the first painting. And then on to the rest. All right, guys, so I'm in the spray paint station. I have all my paints. Got my alien canvas here for the dude in Texas. And uh, I'm just going to do the background. So I like to do the spray paint. It's a little annoying because you have to put tape on your painting before you do it. But it just makes the background look a lot cleaner. So, yeah, I'm going to show you. And then I'll show you what it looks like after. Get to use gloves when doing that and I bought gloves specifically for spray painting and of course I forgot again so that's the first painting that I got commissioned to do actually it's the first commission painting I've ever had so pot planet a little alien spaceship for my dude in texas i'm gonna ship this out literally tomorrow to you buddy so yeah man i hope you enjoy it and here it is he asked for it to have a little purple in it so i added that purple and yeah i hope you enjoy it dude i'll be sending it out to you uh tomorrow and then i'll be sending you an instagram message like right now first commission piece ever so thank you for having actually thank you for having me do this for you man i appreciate it but yeah, on to the next one. I forgot to sign it. So, there we are. 14 by 14 painting for our dude Mike in Texas. I'm gonna be shipping this out in like the next 20 minutes, man. Hope you enjoy it. Thank you for ordering a painting. Um, I really appreciate it, dude. This has been an honor making it for you, and I'm really happy that I'm finally getting to the point where I could send out paintings and they're gonna be other places around the world and not just in my room or in my central Florida area. So I appreciate it, dude. All right, Michael, it's on its way. Hope you enjoy it, dude. Display it nicely and thank you for ordering it, man. All right, so the next commission piece I have to do is my second commission ever. 
It's a 14 by 14 bug. So I made a little mistake here. I did the outline in pencil and then I started spray painting over it thinking the outline would show through and well, it didn't. Well, I thought that was gonna work and it didn't, but it's dry now, so I'm gonna paint, or not paint, I'm gonna redraw our praying mantis here. Hopefully it comes out as good as it did the first time. Okay, I'm finally back on track. You can't really see it, but I redrew out the praying mantis. There you go, you kind of see it. He's standing on a stick with some leaves, and I'm gonna probably do some clouds or like more leaf coverage and make it look like he's sitting in a tree or a bush or something. So for this one, the person who commissioned it asked for a insect. They didn't really specifically ask for a specific insect, they just wanted a random bug because they like bugs. So I went with the praying mantis, as you can see here. It's my first time ever drawing an insect, so it was a little difficult, but honestly, it's one of my favorite paintings that I've made. I think it came out really good. So this praying mantis is for my friend Amanda, and it's going to be going into the nursery for her little daughter she's about to have soon. It's a full insect-themed nursery, and thank you, Amanda, for ordering it. I really appreciate it. So I'm stuck now. I have basically the full praying mantis. I have the log that he's staying on, but I want to do the background. And I wanted to do clouds and stuff, but I think that's kind of lame. So I think I'm going to do like some more branches coming up from the top, and then just a bunch more leaves. That way he looks like he's like in a bush or in a tree or something. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to do it. I don't know yet, but yeah, let me show you what I got so far. Here is the Prime Maltus. Okay, so I'm just gonna go for it. We're making a branch so it'll look like he's in a tree. At this point, I started adding random stuff to the background, some leaves, added another stick, added some clouds to make it look like he's chilling on a tree. And I think it really made the whole piece come together. What you think? It's cute, I like it a lot. Oh, thank you. Very nursery-like. All right, so now I'm gonna work on painting number three. This one's two dogs, and let me tell you, I have never painted a dog that's gonna be more of a cartoony, my version of her dogs. So it's not gonna be perfect. So we'll see what it turns out to be. I'm gonna sketch it. It's probably gonna take me like an hour, two, three, four, five hours to find like a good sketch that I actually like before I start painting. And that's what I'm gonna do until I go to sleep. All right guys, I'm back home working on painting number three, my two doggos. This is the sketch I got. This dog, the big dog came out really well, I think, my first time ever drawing dogs. And this one is only gonna be a real hairy one. The sketch didn't turn out the best, but when I paint it, I think it's gonna come out a lot better. It's more of just like an idea. If you can, stay at home. Not gonna lie, I really have no clue what I'm doing with this dog portrait. Um, yeah, it's looking cool though. But originally, I started doing all black because I was like, "Oh, it's a, it's a it's an all black dog." And then I turned the brightness up on my phone. Notice that it's actually a dark brown dog. So I'm going over the dark black spots, making them brown, and I'm just kind of slowly turning it into a brown dog. But it's kind of cool.
just like that, I am done. So, I already mailed out one canvas, but like I said, I was doing three, so I had the other two right here. So, firstly, I got the insect right here for Amanda. So, this one's finished. I'm gonna be sending this one off probably the next day or so. Here is the doggos. So this is the finished piece. So I didn't get to film that much of me painting it, but I think it came out way better than I thought it would. Like, look at this dog. Then I got this dog out here, all good and done. But I didn't get to film that much because I was just so focused on actually painting it and trying to make it look like a doggo. And I'm actually really proud about this little guy and these guys. So yeah, I guess I could do dog paintings now if you guys want a painting of your dog. And that's it guys, so here's some close-ups of the two paintings. And I just want to stop and say thank you guys for watching the video, especially if you made it this far through. And then if you are wanting a custom painting, you can message me on Instagram at the.grotto or the Grotto Customs. Those are my two Instagram accounts and I'll be able to hit you up on there. And thank you guys for watching. Also, the core team is still going, so make sure you guys are staying safe. And yeah, have a good night, guys. Thanks for watching.